Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we want to wind up our look at Psalm 44, the psalm that addresses the issue of suffering unjustly. And yesterday we looked at the reason, for your sake. But <laughs> the situation is still very disparate. So what does the psalmist do? So we are reading verses 23 to 26. Awake, Lord, why do you sleep? Rouse yourself. Do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and help us. Rescue us because of your unfailing love. So when we experience mysterious suffering, that's a good expression, mysterious suffering for the sake of the Lord Jesus Christ, here are four things that you and I need to do, all taken from these verses that we just read. Number one, we must be honest to admit our perplexity to God. There must be that freedom to honestly to complain to God, to express to God the perplexity of our situation. Tell him exactly how it feels. Tell him that you're confused and that you're disturbed, that there are many questions in your mind and we need to be honest with God. That's what the book of Psalms is all about. It teaches us to be honest with God, not to pretend, not to put on a mask, not to... Uh, think that everything is fine when things are not really fine. So be honest in expressing to God uh, the reality of your situation and how you're feeling. The second thing that we need to do is to lament over our situation. Uh, the Psalms has got many that are called lament Psalms. And we would do well to lament. Now, look at these expressions of lament that you find in this uh, psalm. <laughs> Sometimes it almost sounds that uh, we have come close uh, to the edge of uh, giving up our faith. Why do you sleep? <laughs> God, why do you sleep? Right? That's another way of saying, God, why are you so indifferent to my situation? Lord, do you reject us forever? Is this abandonment going to continue? Is it going to be forever? God, why do you hide your face from us? We want to see your favor on our life. God, why have you forgotten our misery and oppression? And then he says, God, we are brought down to the dust. That means we are severely humiliated. Our face is kissing uh, the dust. And our bodies are clinging to the ground. That's the depth of misery and the greatness of sorrow and humiliation expressed in the form of a lament. <laughs> so I want to encourage you to lament when you go through your time of suffering. And you can use the Psalms as a model uh, as to how to do it. And then number three, we pray for help. <laughs> we pray for help. And you find five expressions in these few verses where the psalmist is uh, asking God for help. Awake, Lord. That's the first expression. Awake, Lord. Rouse yourself. Shake yourself, Lord. Get ready for action. That's the second expression. And the third expression is rise up. <laughs> rise up. Number four. Help us, God, do something to change our situation. Help us. And the fifth uh, expression is rescue us. Rescue us. You know something amazing about this uh, uh, fivefold prayer? God preserves a prayer where people get right to the edge of faith, challenging God on why he is absent in their time of need. 
God has intentionally, deliberately preserved this prayer for your benefit and my benefit in the 21st century. So the final thing that we do uh, in our time of suffering, number four, and look at how beautifully this psalm ends. Rescue us because of your unfailing love. Take a red pen and underline those two words, unfailing love. God's love never fails. God's love is forever. And you can count on it. <laughs> God's love will never, ever be taken away from us. Uh, we read yesterday from Romans 8, nothing shall separate us from the love of God, which is to be found in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you to appropriate God's love. Drink deeply of his love today in your suffering, in your pain, and experience God's healing. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.